Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about introduction of general pharmacology. Before entering into the topic, we need to know about what is pharmacology. The term pharmacology is derived from two Greek words and those are pharmacon and the another one is the logia where logia means study of and the word pharmacon is stands for drug. By combining these two, the term pharmacology means simply the study of drugs. And what we study in drugs? The source of drugs, the structure of drugs, and the effects that are on our human body, which will be caused by the drugs. And based on this, we will be using the drugs. And the also the side effects, those are caused by the drug, are discussed under the branch pharmacology. And what is drug? WHO stated or determined the drug as any substance or pro product that is used or intended to be used to modify or explore physiological systems or the pathological states for the benefit of the recipient. Here, pharmacology is divided into two main divisions. The first one is the pharmacokinetics, which means what the body does to the drug when it is administrated into the body. It, it involves absorption of the drug, distribution of the drug, metabolism of the drug and finally it deals with excretion of the drug. All these phenomena are discussed on the pharmacokinetics when a drug is in, inserted or administrated into our body. And the second division is the pharmacodynamics. It is simply what the drug does to the body when it is inser inserted or administrated into our body. It deals with mechanism of action of drug, mechanism of action and the pharmacological actions of drug, pharmacological actions of the drug and the last one is the adverse effects of drugs, adverse effects of drug that is administrated into our body. Here, to clear, to be clear and to avoid confusion, here the term pharmacodynamics, the letter D is present, where this involves what drug does to the body. Here drug D and the pharmacodynamics, we can remember these two easily. Now let us discuss about source of drugs, where the first one we are going to discuss is natural source. The natural source of drugs are plants animals, minerals and microorganisms where the drugs that are obtained from plants are classified again into four types. The first one is the alkaloids, glycoids, volatile oils and the last one is the resins. The examples for each of them here it is quinone or reserpine, glycoids are Desoxin or digitoxin and the volatile oils are chloroil is the most famous one and the resin that we use is the tincture that is obtained from the plants. The drugs that are obtained from animals are insulin and heparin. The drugs that are obtained from minerals are ferrous sulfate and magnesium sulfate. The drugs that are obtained from microorganisms are penicillin and streptomycin. These are the drugs that are obtained from natural source. Now let us discuss about the drugs that are obtained from animals, sorry from another source that is semi-synthetic source. Here semi-synthetic drugs are the origin is natural origin means they are obtained from the natural source but they are modified chemically to obtain the desired product. The best example is heroin, where it is the obtained from diacetylization of morphine. Morphine is obtained naturally from the plant. Which this is modified to produce the desired heroin. This is the best example. And we are going now, let us discuss another category called synthetic drugs. These are obtained completely chemically. And the best example is paracetamol, aspirin, cold lag and many are there. 
and the last one we are going to discuss about is rdna technology in this source the drugs are or modified or obtained from changing the amino acid of amino acid sequence of a gene that is which is inserted into plasmid and desired product is obtained by culturing here the best example for rdna technology is human insulin and this is obtained by the change in amino acid sequence and also other examples are human growth hormone and hepatitis b vaccine now let us discuss about the types of drugs the first one we are going to discuss are the prescription drugs prescription drugs which mean the drugs that are given only by the there will the prescription of a doctor the best example are antibiotics and anti psychotics these are the drugs that are sold only by reference of a doctor and another category are over the counter drugs simply otc drugs these are sold without any prescription this can be sold by shopkeepers also the best example are paracetamol tablet and antacids mostly another category is orphan drugs this is important orphan drugs where these are the drugs used for treating a rare disease these are produced less in stock because the expenses for those are helpful in producing these drugs will not be satisfied by the product but consumed by the patients so these are produced in a less stock the best example for this is fomepizol and methyl alcohol poisoning which is treated for methyl alcohol poisoning and there is another category also called as essential drugs where the term essentiality defines or refers the drugs that satisfy the health care needs of majority of the population majority of population in a country in a country and approximately there are 376 drugs which are essential and the best examples are anti tubercular drugs that we use for treating tuberculosis now let us discuss about nature of drugs where the drugs are classified into drugs are classified into two types based on their source the first one is the organic and the second one are inorganic drugs which are 100% pure here the organic drugs are again classified into three phase, three types called weakly basic drug weakly acidic drug and the drug which is simply non electrolytes example for the weakly basic one is the morphine and weakly acidic is the aspirin tablet and the electrolyte is simply alcohol and the drugs that comes under the inorganic one are two types of examples are there the first one is the lithium carbonate or simply magnesium carbonate and based on the state of matter also the drugs are classified into three types those are solids liquids and gases the solid forms of drugs are again classified according to our convenience those are powders tablet or or pills or loz lozenges etc the drugs that comes under the liquid state of drugs are aqueous solutions injections drops etc and the drugs that comes under gaseous state are inhalants that we take through our nasal cavity in asthma patients 
now we are going to discuss about an important topic called drug nomenclature where there are three names simply the first one is the chemical name given to a drug where the chemical name is given based on structure of a drug based on structure of a drug we give the chemical name the chemical name is too lengthy to write or prescribe for a patient and the chemical name is usually not used in prescription and the best example for chemical one is for taking an example as paracetamol tablet the chemical name for the paracetamol tablet is n-acetyl paraminophenol this is the too lengthy and this is not in prescription not using prescription this is for paracetamol now, now Coming to the another type of name called non-proprietary name, non-proprietary name or simply generic name. These are the abbreviated names. These are the abbreviated names given based on chemical structure by a competent or scientific body or authority. These are given by a scientific body or authority. These are used in prescription generally or mostly. For example, the generic name for paracetamol tablet is just paracetamol. This is the generic name that we use in prescription and this is the chemical name. Coming to the last one called proprietary name or brand name or trade name. These names are given by the manufacturers of a certain drug in their factories or industries this can be also this can be also used in prescription based on the practitioners and example for this is crocin crocin is the name that is given for the paracetamol tablet manufactured in a certain industry or company now let us discuss about drug compendia where the term Compendia starts, stands for comprehensive collection of information about a drug or many drugs in the form of books. Collection of information in the form of books. And officially there, these are two types and unofficially there is another compendia. The two types official compendia, two types. The first one is the Indian Pharmacopoeia. And the another one is the formularies. Coming to the Indian pharmacopoeia, these are prepared or made by the pharmacists in having into an info on this will be containing information about drug structure, purity of the drug, and the storage needs of a drug these are the information present in the pharmacopoeia and this will be help, helpful for the drug manufacturers and the department of drug regulating drug, drug re regulating authorities also uses this pharmacopoeia coming to the last one called pharmacularies here these are made or prepared by the doctors. This will be having info about drug indication, drugs dosage and the effects or the side effects of drug on usage. And this will be useful for a doctor or clinical practitioner. These are the official two types of compendia and the unofficial compendia we are going to discuss about is Martindale. This is the unofficial compendia. This is published every two to three years by a Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain. 
Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and comment on the video.